Hi Sarah, my name's Amanda, it's so nice to meet you. It is so cool that we have the same exact birthday with the same exact year, I'm not gonna say it um, on the video because this is gonna go on YouTube. Also, if you would like me to delete this afterwards, please let me know. You're asking me if a certain person is going to reach out to you, I'm not gonna say it on here, his name, uh, for reconcilia reconciliation and communication in 2024 all right so i am pulling from my daily guidance from your angel cards and the oracle cards i'm gonna tell you my gut instinct is no it feels like this is not this is not mutual this doesn't feel like i'm gonna say this with love and respect I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, he's just not that into you. This feels like it's more of a one-sided thing. I feel like he does not want to reconcile. He does not want to communicate. I feel like you're on the back burner type of situation where you're like a second option. And I really, it's hard for me as a woman to say that to you. And I am really sorry. That is a really hard message to deliver to somebody because nobody wants to hear that. You deserve to be with somebody who puts you first, number one, worships the ground you walk on, and there is somebody out there for you. I just don't feel like this is the one. Um, um, the card that came out for you is called assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love, as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. And it says assertiveness. I really feel, you need to be honest with yourself. I feel that you need to do some soul searching, some inner work, and do some confidence boosting. Um, again, I am so sorry. I feel like he keeps you around because you're so good to him. Like he keeps you as a second option because you do so much. You are a very kind and very very patient and when you love someone you love them with your whole heart and that is a beautiful gift I want you to do some um I'm not sure how big into spirituality you are you are purchasing a reading look into feminine energy look up the universe guru um, I'm not saying you need to buy any courses or anything. She has so much into feminine energy and looking for someone, like looking for someone with the same values as you, dating, um, dating for marriage and such like that. I, I'm getting the guidance to read you the, ooh, excuse me, to read you from the book um, for assertiveness. Man, I am so sorry. I didn't. I don't typically know what's going to come out until I start my reading, and I'm just really sad for you right now. You drew this card because you were asking about a situation where you felt victimized. The angels are saying that the situation can only be rectified if you clearly communicate your needs and expectations to others. It's possible to be both angelic and assertive if you call upon the angels for courage and guidance whenever you intend to speak your truth. With practice, loving assertiveness becomes easier. Additional meanings for this card. Face the situation directly. Read a book or take a class on assertiveness training. Replace aggressiveness or passive aggressive behavior with assertiveness. Handle conflict with honesty and love. Tell the truth to yourself and others. This situation is an opportunity for personal and spiritual growth. Sometimes I recommend reaching out and putting yourself out there, but I don't recommend that with this situation. My gut's telling me don't. I wouldn't put yourself out there because it's not going to be respected is, the, is my instinct and the messages I'm getting. I am so sorry. I also want to apologize for the delay in getting the reading out and I want to wish you a happy new year. Thank you so much for letting me read you. I'm sending you good vibes. Hang in there, honey.